Hello and welcome back to Streaming. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Streaming app to schedule a stream in advance of its live time or date. This can be useful in situations where you know when you want to start a stream beforehand, like going to watch a band performance starting at say 7 o'clock. Scheduling allows you to set up all the details for your stream before you're streaming so that you don't have to start the stream in a rush and miss some of what you want to stream. To schedule a stream with the streaming app, you need only two things, an iOS device and a streaming account. If you don't have a streaming account, go to the Getting Started with Streaming video on the website watch page for assistance doing this. To start, open the app and click Schedule Stream. Here you are given the chance to enter the title and description for your stream, which will appear on your mobile streaming channel. For more information about channels, check out the Getting Started with Streaming video. This is also where you choose when you want to schedule your stream to start. This can be anywhere from 10 minutes in advance to days in the future if you're really organised. Next you need to choose the broadcast visibility options for the stream. You can make it a public stream, meaning it will be discoverable by anyone, as the red description indicates. You can make it only visible to one or more of your friends on streaming, or visible to any of your followers. You can also choose whether you want to notify people that you're going live. If you choose friends, you can choose which friends to notify. If you do notify someone, they will receive an alert on their phone as long as they have the streaming app installed. Now you can continue. On this next screen, you can choose whether you want the stream to be portrait or landscape based on what's more convenient for what you're going to stream. You can also choose whether to show your location to viewers or not. If you choose to show your location, it will be on the panel for your stream on the Discover page. You also have the option to record your stream when it goes live. This can be done simply to your device or to your device and the stream in server, allowing you to share a video of the stream after it has happened. Add some categories people will identify with what you will be streaming, then click continue. Now you're given the chance to add a snapshot to your scheduled stream. This will appear on the panel as a thumbnail. In addition to the snapshot, a scheduled stream allows you to enter a preview URL for what you are going to stream, that people can watch if they click on the stream before it goes live. For example, if you're going to stream a band, you could put the link to a previous music video here to get your audience excited and give them an idea of what to expect from the stream. Now, if you're happy with how your location is displayed, you can click Schedule Stream. This will prompt a notification for anyone you selected to notify and set up. They can then click the notification and it will take them to an information page for the stream. If they then click Watch Stream, they are taken to the pre-stream area. If you added a preview URL, this is where viewers can watch it before the stream starts. The timer in the center gives viewers an accurate countdown to the start of the stream, so they can be ready to view when it goes live. Back on the streamer's device, to take your scheduled stream live, you can either find the listing for it in Discover, or just click Stream Now. The app will notify you that you have a scheduled stream waiting to start, and if you click Yes to start it, you will be taken to a similar page to the viewer, but you can edit the details on here if you've made any mistakes in initial setup. If you're happy with the details, click Update and Continue to Start button. You also get a timer, till the time specified for the stream to go live, whilst also showing you what is in your stream view, so you can position the camera in the best possible way. Once you are ready and it is getting close to stream time, click Ready. Your stream will then go live once the timer reaches zero. At this point, the number waiting is the number of viewers who were aware of the stream before it went live and thus are waiting to view it once it is live. There is a slight delay between when the stream is live for you and when the viewers are added. Once the viewers have joined, it is like any other stream. They can comment on the stream, which you can show and hide with the chat button. You can also report users if you deem chat messages inappropriate or offensive. This is easily done by the creator while streaming by pressing the offending message. You can also block a user instantly from the channel so they cannot rejoin the stream. You can also mute the sound, change camera, and zoom in on the stream using the buttons at the bottom right of the screen. Clicking who is watching will show you a list of your current viewers. Once the performance is over, you can stop the stream as with any other by clicking stop at the top right. This takes you to a stream info page giving you the statistics from the stream you've just finished. Scheduling is an extremely useful feature of streaming. If you have any problems, please get in touch using our social media and visit the website to check out some amazing streams.